Alright ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Forerunner video where today I am talking about this guy, the Gladiator, and why I hate that I love him. Just because this guy has some incredibly dirty shit, and I love characters with dirty moves, but it gets to a point where there, sometimes it's just too much. But So I just thought I'd go over in this first bit what Gladiator has and what I like to use that usually works out. So, Gladiator has quite, it, it looks all complicated, but really you only need to be doing like two or three things with him to win, more or less, because he's got some amazing moves. Like, I'm just going to go over the ones that I usually do and that usually work out for me. And of course, got to start off with his most useful move, Bamboozle. Now, it's a proven fact that if you bamboozle someone at the start of the round, you are guaranteed to win that round. It's just like his best move in the entire game. And what I'm showing off here is the fact that his guard... I know how assassins have very little guards and it goes away quickly, but I think this guy, it goes away even quicker than most, because that's what it feels like anyway, that it leaves really quickly. Now, what I'm showing here are his lights. Uh, you know, they are incredibly fast. But you can also do a light into toe stab, and while that's not guaranteed, it will hit like 80% of the time, it will hit them. And that's... And that's a, a, a heavy for the price of a light, more or less. And right there, that's you seeing, you can go from uh, a light into a toe stab or a light into the mix-up where you guard break or skewer them. And the skewer, look how much bleed that does. That does a hell of a lot of damage, like two bars of bleed, which is, you know, ridiculous. You can also throw them into walls and get another guaranteed heavy into more mix-up. Now, it's usually quite easy to dodge the skewer or parry it, but... Most of the time, you're just going to end up cancelling it into toe stab or grab anyway. And he's got some great dashing attacks. Like that, his his dashing shield bash is probably his most useful move, I want to say. It is so handy because you can, you can bash them into a heavy. You can bash them into cancelling it into a guard break or there, which works nearly every single time. You bash them into cancel into zone attack. Now, it eats pretty much all of your stamina. But that is basically guaranteed, because they're blinded, it's very hard to dodge the zone attack, and, you know, they, they lose uh, a fair chunk of stamina when you do it all at once. And, of course, because you're Gladiator, you don't really need to worry about being out of stamina too much, because you'll get your stamina back quicker than any other character, which is, you know, also pretty ridiculous. But yeah, as you can see, just his mix-up potential is, is, is pretty endless with this guy, because he's got amazing lights, he can do the lights into toe stab, or into another mixer, or into zone attack, or this, that, and the other. And all of it just seems to work out and makes him an incredibly difficult character to deal with. But, you know, that's kind of why I like him, and hate playing against him. I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm seeing a nerf sometime in the future, but until then, let's see what we can do. Right, so... Nabushi, that's always fun. Nabushi's pretty good. Now, against... Gladiator, I'm not sure what to expect, just because, well, I never really play this matchup much, but I can just imagine, well, I can get in a lot easier than most characters, so I guess Nabushi will lose the range advantage, mostly. And all I gotta do is that, lights into toe stab, that's gonna work. See, look at that, that was a light that did heavy damage. Oh, good parry. I haven't conditioned him enough yet. Ooh, okay, I'm dead. I'm very dead. Yeah, after you do the um, dashing lights, you if they block it, just block it. You get a guaranteed guard break, which I think is probably fair considering how fast they are. That's the face of a serial killer right there. Hmm. So, I guess the best thing to do would just be stay out and occasionally poke with, combined with toe stab mix up, and that we usually work. Oh, okay, bamboozle. I guaranteed won this. <laughs> well, uh, we didn't expect that, but sure, it it works out for me. Wow. Yes. Well, I'm not exactly not going to take the. Guaranteed heavy off a wall splat. I wasn't trying to throw him off, but I was trying to get the heavy afterwards. Round three. 
It doesn't matter. As gladiator, you can do dirty shit. People can't do anything in return anyway. Look at that. That's a heavy. I just got a heavy really easily. Ooh, he could have got... Well, he was a bit too far away there. There's another heavy. Oh, he's not going to be happy about that. Right, now when they're on bleed damage and they're just... They've got that tiny bit of white health left, chip them. Seriously, just hit them with a couple heavies and they'll lose that last bit of health and you can kill them by bleed. It's a little trick I learned while playing this guy because I don't play anyone with bleed damage usually, but because chip is so high now, you can... If they've got like even like one bar of white health left, you can usually chip that away while they're still bleeding and then they'll bleed to death. Ooh, okay, that's a good way of dealing with it. I didn't expect him to be able to do that. I'm trying to go for deflects. See, look at that. Super mix up. Oh, I <laughs> didn't expect him to be able to block that. Yeah, look, see? Out of stamina? It really doesn't matter. I can just dash away and my stamina will be back way quicker than anyone else. Look at this. Now he's out of stamina, and that was all guaranteed, pretty much. And now he's dead. Victory. Jeez, this guy's good. Well, anyway, let's see who's next. Ah, oh, I'll show you the jazz hands later. Hmm, Raider. That's always fun. Now, Raider at least has a has a good way of dealing with a lot of my stuff because he can dodge into guard break or dodge into the top light quite quickly so you know he's got that going for him at least otherwise he's sort of screwed like if he dodges a toe stab he gets a massive punish so let's just see how he can deal with it see that is dirty and it works most of the time <laughs> look at that heavy damage for the price of a light yeah he just has no idea right now i got to try and chip him Oh, I didn't do enough. Almost, though. Right, he's, I'm out of stamina. Do it. <laughs> hey, I knew it'd be greedy. I just knew it. That's always fun. When you're out of stamina, just... When you're out of stamina and they're on one hit, just throw out a light. And usually people won't expect it. They'll just be like, right, I'm going to get this kill. He's out of stamina. He can't do shit. Oh, dead. Right. Alright, guaranteed one. That's it. Game over. Sorry, man, you've been bamboozled. You've lost. This guy's zone attack. Oh, God. It's just so, so ridiculous. Ooh, good dodge. Ah, that didn't work. But yeah, I think... The, the nerfs that are coming to him are probably going to be to the toe stab and the zone mainly, because they are the main problems. Yeah, just look at that, you can't... Another great thing about this guy is you can't run away from him, because he's faster than everyone, and even if you roll, your dashing attacks will catch most of them, which is, you know, brilliant. Ooh. Throwing out random shit, that usually works. See, my main issue at the moment, for me, personally, is I haven't quite worked out how to deflect as this guy yet. And people who can deflect as Gladiator, it is a nightmare because, you know, they can... It's just so scary to deal with them because one deflect and you lose two bars of health, guaranteed. You know, at least. Heavy damage. Oof. I hate you, reactive block. Could have got a guaranteed guard break there. It is so annoying dealing with that. Just like that. Keeping my distance, whittling away his health. Just look at that shit. Oh, that was good. That was a good bunch of dodging from him. That was right in my dick as well, but yeah, that was good.
Although, in my defense, I should have got broken, like, at least twice in that whole stream. Letting it all go was a mistake, but anyway. Ooh. See, that, um, the skewer has so much range, like, going backwards, so a lot of the time it's quite good just to start it off from a distance and then go all the way. Either let it go or cancel it, and it usually forces your opponent to do something. See, this is all you, all you need to do. Just spam shit. I mean, it, it works. Just look at that. Two zone attacks. One. Immediately. You couldn't really do anything in that situation. Ah. Right, well, on to the next victim. Let's see who the lucky boy is. Oh, I'm gonna feel bad about this because... I love Highlander, and it's really sad because he is incredibly shit as a character right now, but I do love him. I just can't wait for the, for the fix. They, they, they said when they released him, they the, the inability to get anything off a guard break and the really short guard break range was a bug, but I mean, come on, this is Ubisoft. They, they, they would have tested, well, they must have tested it at some point, you know. Oh, and, and noticed. Oh, this guy can't get anything off a guard break. That's kind of weird. But no, I think they're just saying that because they, they're they saying it was a glitch because of the response they got. They were just like, all right, we fucked up. Let's try and cover for ourselves. Yeah, it was a glitch. Sorry, people. We didn't, we didn't know. And that's, I, well, I'm pretty sure at the moment that Gladiator's max out of stamina punish. Oh, damn it. I could have got him. But yeah, his max out stamina punish is um, you, you dash forward, do a light, and then you do a side heavy. And even though he hit me with that unblockable after the kick, I'm pretty sure you can dodge out of it or even parry it as assassin. I think as most uh, assassins, but yeah, definitely as gladiator. I just sort of fucked up there. Bamboozled. He's lost. Guaranteed. I mean, he's also lost because he's playing Highlander. But... Still. Just look at all that stamina drain. And look, you can't do anything. I can just go away and my stamina will be back miles before he can get to me. Oh, I went the wrong way. Oh, I went the wrong way again. Oh, he can't do anything. That's a lot of damage. That's the way to dodge it. You um, dodge to the opposite side. So it, uh, I'm trying to think of it from their perspective. So it comes from the, the shield bash hits from my left and then comes the follow up. So you got to dodge to the right as the enemy. Oh, actually, no, you got to dodge to the left. Yeah. And then you'll dodge it. But still, it's quite hard to figure that out. Just look at that. Instant death. Because if a Highlander goes into um, his unblockable stance, you know, offensive stance, he can't block or anything, so you just gotta jump in with a light attack, and you, you, it's very hard to react to and cancel your unblockable stuff for it, but yeah. So, going into offensive stance as Highlander against someone who can get in and out very quickly is just kind of pointless. Ah! I missed it again. It's gonna hurt. Good parry. And got nothing from it, that makes sense. Sounds about right. Keep going for it. Just trying to practice it, right? See, just look at that. That is almost guaranteed every single time, just because of how difficult it is to deal with. Ah, shit. And you see there, I had time to dodge. I just dodged at the wrong time. I ah, can't catch him. I want to stab you. There we go. This guy has poor feet. Oh, no, he's guaranteed dead. And now for his best execution. Let it happen. Let it happen. There we go. Ah, and just like that, easy win. Because it's against Highlander. And I'm Gladiator. And that's how this game works now. Anyway, on to the next match. Let's see who it is. Ah, trusty law, bro. Now, 
what is very handy as Gladiator, which is what I hate as a Conk main, but uh, he can open up turtles like you cannot believe. He is like the... he's, he's the embodiment of a can opener. Oh shit. Ah oh, shit. That's not gonna work. But yeah, this guy is literally a can opener. Turtling does not work against him, just because of the amount of unblockables and crazy shit he can do. Like, he's got, he's the biggest counter, I think, to, to Conqueror in the game, because it's weird. Conqueror is the biggest counter to Highlander, I'm pretty sure, and Gladiator is the biggest counter to Con. Oh, wait. Conqueror is the biggest counter to Highlander. Gladiator is the biggest counter to Conqueror. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. A complete brain fart there. Let it happen. There we go. But yeah, like, because... Against, uh, you know, as Gladiator, your Conk's biggest nightmare because you never use heavies. You can do light into toe stab or another uh, number of other unblockables. So, you know, you can never really get anything as Conqueror against Gladiator. As Highlander, you only really use heavies. And, you know, so that's kind of like you a death sentence against... Conqueror. So you're you're nine times out of ten you won't win as Gladiator. Uh, sorry, as Highlander against Conqueror, which is just unfortunately because he's just the biggest counter there is, I think. And that never really works. That mix up that uh, Lawbringers do. Oh shit, that never works. <laughs> he couldn't even block there, even though he dodged in the right direction. He didn't recover fast enough to be able to block the second hit. Which is again, ridiculous. Yeah, like, he's trying to turtle now, but look, it just doesn't work. All I need to do is beat him up a bit and he can't do shit. Look, now I run away and he can't do anything. He just got himself out of stand-up because he was so desperate to kill me, and now he's dead. Ay ay ay. Yeah, turtles do not prosper against this guy at all. So he is definitely the counter to the turtle meta. If you are tired of people turtling up on you, pick this guy. He will guarantee deal with them hands down. Well, I don't know what he was thinking there. See, just look at look at the mix-up. I I went into. Unblockable into another light into thingy. Oh, I tried to dodge that. Oh, I keep trying to dodge when I don't need to. Ooh, good parry. Ooh, okay, I think this is me dead. Oh, yeah. Blit. <laughs> I wish they added, like, proper ragdoll effects to characters, because that's just all animated. But I want, I want him to, like, ragdoll and smack into a wall or something. Can you do that, Ubisoft? Can you make me smack into a wall when I die, please? Oh, I'm learning. There's a heavy. There's another heavy. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I keep doing it. No, that shit doesn't work. Anything slow won't hit me. Ah, goddammit, I'm an idiot. So is he. <laughs> My god. Broke as fuck, but I do love it. Let it happen. Let sh 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 let it happen. Ah, there we go. There we go. Victory. And that. Oh, I love the jazz hands. I love the jazz hands. But yeah, and that is how you play Gladiator. Well, I mean, you know, it's how I play him. I am very shit with assassins, and I am very shit with Gladiator. But you can see how well I can do with him. So, yes, just. Do the dirty shit I do, and you'll be absolutely fine as him. Trust me. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little guide. And also, 
I'm kind of tired of playing Just For Honor. Let me know what you think would be a good game for me to play in the future or something, because I see Destiny 2 and all this and all that, but, uh, you know, there's Destiny 2, there's Absolver coming out soon, there's all this other stuff, but let me know what you want to see. Like, there's nearly a thousand of you now. I'm pretty sure with this video up that it'll get to a thousand. I want to hear your guys' thoughts on what I should play next, because I like, you know, I love For Honor, I owe it a lot, it started off my channel, all this sort of stuff, but, you know, I, I like trying out new games, and until Highlander and a lot of other stuff is fixed, I, I want to just sort of branch off for a bit, see, see what I can, else I can find, but anyway, let me know what you think, uh, I'll be streaming another point soon, I guess, and um, yeah, thank you guys for watching, see you in the next video, bye! <laughs> Oh